So when I run a program here in Linux Mint, I have them all down here, well, almost all of them down here on the taskbar down here. So here's the thing. When I run my programs, I don't go to the start menu usually and then type in the name or use the uh, menu here and look for the name. I actually have them memorized down here by the icons. Uh, for instance, I know that this here is my signal. I know that this is Lightburn. Uh, I have OBS Studio. I have MKV. And so I know all these icons. And so when I look down here, some of these icons actually look close to the same. And so, for instance, this one here, this is Thunderbird Mail. It kind of looks like my simple screen recorder down here. There's some other light blue ones here, my Chrome and uh, Signal. So I use this Thunderbird Mail about five times a day. And so it's one of my most used programs. I don't like the icon. This blue one here is just too close. And I have actually hit my simple screen recorder before and actually hit my uh, signal as well. So what I want to do is I want to make this stand out a lot more. I want to actually put a big M down here and I want it to be green. So I'm going to make a green box with a big white M for my Thunderbird mail. So I'm going to show you how to create the icon. Then I'm going to show you how to put it in to the system and then uh, change the icon for the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Krita to do this. So here's the thing. When I open up Krita, I'm going to create the icon. However, I need to save the icon into a system folder called icons. Now, the system won't let me save it directly in Krita because I don't have elevated privileges. Now, I could, of course, open Krita with elevated privileges. I can change the command for it to open. If I go here to graphics and then Krita properties, and then I can change this command to open up as a super user, but I'm not going to do that because running GUI applications as root can sometimes lead to permission issues. So it's it's safer to save your file normally and then move it to the folder that I need it to be in. So I'm not going to actually open as a super user. I'm just going to create it, save it to the desktop, and then move it over. So the first thing I want to do is to go file new. I want it to be 32 pixels by 32 pixels and a 300 resolution. And I'm just going to hit create. So I can zoom in and out here in Krita with just using the scroll button on the mouse. First thing I want to do is I want to change the background. So I want to come over here to the top right, this color selector. I'm going to select a green. I'm going to select a bright green that really stands out there on the taskbar. That looks pretty good right there. Go over here on the left to the uh, fill button the paint bucket and just click inside there. That's nice and bright. And then what I want to do is go back over here to the color selector and select white and then go to the text tool here and then draw a box here where I'm going to put the text and then the uh, text editor comes up. I'm going to get rid of this placeholder text and then just type in a capital M. Now up here, I want to change this font. I don't want the Ubuntu font. And I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to use a nice big fat one here. Uh, Jara looks. What's this? Jara. That looks pretty good. Let's try that one. Well, no, actually, let's go back up here. I've used this one before in testing. This U URW bookman. You can use anything. So just select one. Um, I don't want it to be italic. I want, I'm just going to select Demi and then size 10 looks pretty good. I'm just going to hit save and then close and then let's just move it up. So it is a little big. So to change the size of something in Krita, you have a resize tool, a transform tool over here. It's right here. Select that and then resize it. Yeah, that looks pretty good like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So then I want to save it. So I hit File, Save As, and I'm going to change this to a PNG. Incidentally, let me show you what happens when I try to save it in the Icons folder. 
So I'm going to go to the file system, uh, USR for user, share, and then icons. And let me show you when I select icons, give it a name, I'm going to call it mail. And then when I try to hit save, it says it already exists because I've already been playing with it. It says could not save it. So I'm just going to hit OK. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Now I can hit export or save as. I'm going to hit save as and select the desktop. And then call it mail. And make sure that it is a PNG. Save. And for compression, I'm just going to give it a 5, middle of the road. And then OK. And then I can close this. And there it is on my desktop. Let's open up the icons folder. Uh, you go to your file system, user, USR, share, and down here to the icons folder. If I try to just drop this in here, you'll see what happens. Error. There was an error moving the file. Permission denied. So I'm going to right click on the icons folder and select open as root. And it will ask you for the password. It didn't ask me because I've already been playing around in here and I've already entered the um, root password. So what I'm going to do is just take this mail.png and drop it right in there and then close that. Now to change this icon down here, I can actually get rid of that. So to change the icon down here for the mail, I'm going to go to the start. I'm going to go to Thunderbird Mail, right click on it left click on properties now over here on the left you'll see the icon right here so i'm going to click on the icon and then you'll see all these uh, icons for thunderbird mail but i'm going to actually add my own i'm going to hit browse so i'm going to go to other locations computer uh, usr share and then icons And then scroll down to the bottom where the mail.png is, select it, and you'll see it's right here. I'm going to select it and then hit the select button. And you'll notice that it's changed it right here. And then select OK. So now it didn't change it down here on the taskbar. That's because I have to do two things. I either just need to restart the computer or if I uh, actually unpin it from the panel and then put it back on, it will show up. Let me show you where it is. Let's go Internet and then Thunderbird Mail. You'll see here in the menu, it's changed it. So I can unpin it, put it back on, or I can just restart. I'm going to go ahead and just restart the computer. And there we go. There is my new Thunderbird Mail icon. I don't think I'll make a mistake opening that now. So that's all there is to changing your icons for your applications.